All right, so um, I, I'm, I'm the one who is uh, corresponding with you. I'm Ryan Token. I'm legal representation for uh, a company called Horsey Cat Industries. Um, with me is the person who wants to interview you. He is the uh, CEO slash president, um, Mr. Cross. I found it would I probably know. be in my best, yeah. my best interest to just sit through this uh, interview. So don't mind me too much. Mr. Cross, you can take over. Uh, hi, sir. What was your name again, please? Scott. Scott. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time today. I'm sorry that we started late. Um, oh, no problem. All right. If you could give me an example of a time you've dealt with a difficult customer and how you handle that. Um, when you, when you say difficult, you mean attitude, attitude wise, uh, anything that felt difficult to you, attitude wise, uh, the request they were making anything. Um, a difficult customer. Like, wrong. I'm an honest guy. I'm, a, I'm an honest guy. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, can you let me know about your re uh, most recent job? My recent job was house. I believe house cleaning. You believe house, cleaning. Believe house cleaning. Okay. Because I had several jobs. Okay. All right. Did you wear like the maid's outfit or like what was your usual kind of uh, outfit? Um, you, you wear casual clothes. Yeah, you just wear ca casual on um, clothes. You can wear your own clothes. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, so a little more information about when you did the uh, cleaning of the toilets. Um, did you ever run into situations where there was like a lot of uh, feces around the outside of the toilet that you had to clean, like on the on the on the sides of the toilet or around the rim where you sit down? You know. It was just one. It was just one time. The whole. I mean, it was. It was. It was like somebody came in there, and just threw feces. Just like it was just all. It was just like everywhere. It was. It was crazy. It was um. We could say shit. It was like shit here, it was, the shit was everywhere. It was shit. Right. It was a lot of shit everywhere. This, yeah, just everywhere. I mean, it was. It was bad. It was like a movie. Like. <laughs> Uh, what about the any glory holes? Did you clean the glory holes at all? Glory holes? Yeah. No, no I glory holes. No, I don't think anything had no glory holes. I mean, do you, did they have glory holes there at the gym in the bathrooms? No, I, I didn't see none of those. Okay, all right. Because sometimes you know in the gyms it's real popular to have glory holes in there. You know. Did you always wear gloves when you clean the shit out of the toilet? Yeah, you gotta wear gloves. Gloves important. Safety hazard. Yeah, and well, then you, just don't, you, want you just don't want all that stuff on you. Right. Like right. You, you, it's it's important to wear gloves. Okay. The the women have the they have the little um the little things where they have the it's like um it's like things inside there where where they can put their pads and stuff in like a container. Yeah, a container inside of where they put their pads stuff in. So, did you see tampons at all? Yeah, I I, I believe so. Did you sniff them? Nah, I didn't do that. You never. <laughs> no, nah, I don't, never, I don't they, do that. Okay, but well, some guys, you know, they're into it because we're we we're animals and we smell the menstruation and we get attracted to it. You know, we get erections and we get attracted to the woman's scent. You know. Yeah. I don't, I don't do stuff like that. What's the craziest stuff that you've used to wash your junk off with after you've had sexual relations with a woman? Uh, honestly, I can't. Honestly, I can't answer that question because the the way I'm living, I'm living for Christ, so I can't I can't even entertain questions like that. To be honest with you, like you don't have sex time. No, I don't. Not not until I'm married. Oh wow! So you must like, the, way the way the way I'm living now, like the I'm living for the good Lord Christ. So right. that's where my heart at. Right. And all this, I can't answer. I just can't answer questions like that. Mr. Yeah. Cross, I would, I, if if I could, I would like to interject just for a second. I think uh, my legal opinion is this man is a good candidate. This is a 
pretty solid interview from from my perspective. I think sure. the only thing it's missing is a slight explanation of, you know, how the position and who he reports to, and that then it's considered a legal interview. Yeah, the overseer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So go, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so you're going to be working for Horsey Cat Industries. That's the name of my company, um, basically. And, uh, I mean, you'll be handling the day-to-day -day activities. Um, you'll be paying the bills. You'll be handling accounts receivable, answering the phones. Uh, they'll be transferred to you. You're going to be making all the decision on hiring, on buying supplies, and, merchandising. And it's hiring, important hiring. to state to him. Uh, to make this a legal interview, it, to state to him who he's going to report to, which would be he's reporting directly to you, correct? Yes. that's. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, my lawyer handles everything. Uh, you're going to be reporting directly to me. I, I'm supposed to tell you that legally in the process of the interview. Do you accept? Yes. Okay. Can you raise your right hand, this one? Say I and then your name. I. I have some questions first. Okay, all right. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. You got us. So there is no type of paperwork. Um, no, that we were about to do the oath, which works just like the paperwork to start, and then once that's set, once you come in, all the other paperwork will be laid out, and we can just go through and sign it. So. Okay. All right. So we can either legally do the oath. In one sense or another, you have to absolutely accept the position for this to legally be an interview. So. Okay, okay. Okay, and um, no offense. No offense. I just ran into... I just let you know history of my past with Craigslist. You know, they have a lot of... You know, they have a lot of scams and stuff with on Craigslist. Okay, well... Okay, then if I'm not, would, I'm not, you I'm can not, come I'm on not, in. I don't want to no, 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 that's fine. About, it's no. fine. I'm just it's fine. I'm the truth. No, no, this I'm is not a scam. Legally, I'm going to make the statement that this is an actual job interview and not a scam for sure. So I personally say we don't even need to do the oath, and it's good. I think it's good. This is uh, You're hired. You could come in and see the place. It's a big building. It has all kinds of kid toys that are floating about, so... <laughs> You good? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Cross, uh, if you officially end the interview, then the next step you can take? Okay. Oh, I hereby declare that you have been uh, brought in as my number two. Uh, that's the name of the position for our organization, Horsey Cat Industries. Mm -hmm. um, Horsey Cat, yeah, Horsey Horsey Cat. Cat Industries. Um, I would like to make an announcement with um, you're my witness and my lawyer here present. Mm-hmm. I hereby resign my position effective 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, November the 10th of 2017. Okay, perfect. Now that is done. Um, Scott, this brings up an interesting point. So now you being the number two, this moves you up to the number one. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, legally say that uh, – your company and you are currently being investigated for fraud, bribery, Ponzi schemes, insider trading, labor racketeering, embezzlement, cybercrime, copyright infringement, money laundering, identity theft, forgery, and there are several class action lawsuits that are against you. And because of the nature of the crime, you do not go under the corporate umbrella. That being said, Ryan Token, legal representative of Horsey Cat Industries resigns as legal representation at 1.29 p.m. on 11.10.17. Thank you. Um, Scott, I'd like to give you a piece of advice. I would, uh, I would seriously hire a white-collar crime lawyer who has expertise in court cases that can lead into major situations. Scott, I know a guy. 